Are, are you aware of the agent provocateur aspect of January 6th? Say more. Um, I don't exactly know what the reality is, but the what people are insinuating is that there was federal agents that were involved in instigating the violence instigating the entering into the Capitol, and that there's this one guy in specific that they've got him isolated on video. They've sh shown him over and over again. He's faced no legal consequences. They know this guy's name. They know exactly who he is. All these other guys are in jail. All these other guys who got into the Capitol, I mean, so many of them are facing, like, these massive federal charges and four years plus in jail. This one guy is like, we have to go in there. We have to take back. We have to get inside there. And people start calling him a fed in, in one one of these videos. And I think he like takes off and runs away. But this is what it seems like. It seems like, and this is something that governments have done forever. Mm -hmm. right? You take a peaceful protest. What's the best way to break up a peaceful protest? You bring in agent provocateurs to turn it into a non-peaceful, a violent protest. Smash windows, light things on fire. Then you can send in the troops and you can clean up the mess and then you don't have any protest anymore. This was the World Trade Organization in, what was it, in Seattle in 99 or whatever it was. That's what they did. And it's mm. been documented that that is what happened. I mean, you know, like literal government agents went in wearing Antifa outfits and starts, I mean, this is pre-Antifa, right? Mm. Smashing windows, lighting things on fire, and they were all eventually released conveniently. Five days, 60,000 people, tear gas, rubber bullets, broken windows, police brutality, and millions of dollars in property damages. From November 29th through December 3rd, 1999, Seattle became home to one of the largest demonstrations in modern US history. The Battle of Seattle was among the first mobilizations, internationally coordinated mainly via the internet, with 400,000 people taking part online. What in today's political climate would be an unlikely alliance, the WTO conference united under a common cause a powerful coalition of labor unions, media activists, association of churches, students, NGOs, international form and industrial workers, and anti-globalists. Fair trade, transparency, respecting democratic process, human rights, labor laws and environmental protection were among the top demands of protesters. Well, this guy, do you know about this, Jamie? You know, see if you can find it. Because it's a curious case of this one particular individual who's like yelling in these various groups that we have to get in there. And it, like he did it pre-January 6th. He did it during the January 6th thing. And then this guy's faced no legal charges whatsoever. And people are like, well, what the fuck is going on here? Hmm. Because when you see some kind of organized debacle like that, and then you see people ins insisting that we have to take this further and we have to go inside. And then if you find out that those people are actually federal agents mm -hmm. that are doing that, you're like, well, what is happening here? And how is that possible? How is this legal? That's a problem. I didn't have any view on it. Right. That's the thing. I'm looking at it like this. Like, what is it? What is this video? Yeah. I'm watching this guy, like this one big beefy looking federal agent guy telling them they got to go inside. And I think he was wearing a MAGA hat. And, uh, you know, it's like a guy in his 50s, then, and he's like, I'll tell you what we got to do. We got to get inside there. We got to go inside the Capitol. Hmm. And these people are like, inside? Like, isn't that illegal? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> this guy's taking it to the next level. But he's doing it, like, multiple times. Hmm. That's, the, the, the pro There's a, there is a real problem with intelligence agencies doing that kind of shit. Totally. Because they do do it. And I think they do it thinking that this is, look, at these group of fucking psychos, like, we got to stop this from escalating. So here's the way. We get them to do something really stupid, then we can put fences up and create a green zone, and then we lock this down. <coughs> Meet Ray Epps. Ep fucking dad clicks. Meet Ray Epps, the Fed-protected provocateur who appears to have led the very first um, one six attack, Jan January sixth attack on the U.S. Capitol. So let's watch some of this because it's fucking crazy. It's really weird. This guy is doing this like over and over and over again. Some people are hip to it, but most people, like including you guys, have no idea that this is a, a person, right? You've never heard of this before. There's that fuck. Let's play this. In fact, tomorrow, 
I don't even like to say it because I'll be arrested. Well, let's not say it. We need, we need to go, it. I'll say it. All right. We need to go in to the Capitol. Let's go! So I'm going to put it out there. I'm probably going to go to jail for it. Tomorrow, we need to go into the Capitol. Into the Capitol. What? There's a lot of instances. It goes yeah. on for quite a while. There's a lot of videos of this guy, which is really fascinating because I think these methods that they've used forever are kind of subverted by social media because you have a hundred thousand different cameras pointed at this guy from all these. When someone starts screaming loudly, people start filming it, and then you get a conglomeration of the or a collection of these rather, mm -hmm. and you can go, "Oh, what is happening here?" Like, like. I don't think they realize that people would be so cynical that they would go over all these various videos and find this one guy who's not being prosecuted or arrested. He's not being prosecuted or arrested. Ding! Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. No, he's not. There's a concern that there were agents of the government or assets of the government present on January 5th and January 6th uh, during the protests. As far as we can determine, the individual who was saying he'll probably go to jail, he'll probably be arrested, but he wants every, but they need to go into the Capitol the next day, is then the next day directing people to the Capitol. And as far as we can find, this individual has not been charged with anything. You said this is one of the most sweeping investigations in the history. Uh, have you seen that video or th those frames from that video? So as I, um uh, said at the outset, uh, one of the norms of the Justice Department is to not comment on impending investigations and particularly not to comment about uh, particular scenes or particular individuals. This okay, is without, I, I was hoping today to give you an opportunity to put to rest the concerns that people have that there were federal agents or assets of the federal government present on January 5th and January 6th. Can you tell us, without talking about particular incidents or particular videos, how many agents or assets of the federal government were present on January 6th, whether they agitated to go into the Capitol and if any of them did? So I'm not going to violate this norm of, uh, of, of uh, the rule of law. I'm not going to comment on an investigation that's ongoing. Look at that guy. Yeah. I mean, if you had a guess, if you had like 50 bucks, what are you going to put your, your chips on, red or black? <laughs> okay, folks, you're at the word. As soon as the president starts speaking, we go to the Capitol. The Capitol is this direction. So I'm going to put it out there. I'm probably going to go to jail for it. Tomorrow, we need to go into the Capitol. Into the Capitol. What? Bullshit. 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 Bullshit.